in Nibu land, there is an adage which says, Mwata kosea kofuma usuru ndi eze ndi na rikoni. Meaning, when a child washes his or her hands very well, you eat with your elders. Alright? Now, let me introduce to us Jennifer Eliog and the living legend Dr. Pa Pet Edoche, the Lion of Africa. Now, growing up, if you remember that movie, Things Fall Apart, written by Chinua Achebe, this is what brought our dearest Papa, Dr. Pet Edoche, to the limelight where he added Okonkwa, Okonkwa, that by the boy that called him father. <laughs> All right, come back. Now, Jennifer Enlilg has been in the movie industry. She is a face of yesteryears. Growing up, she's one of the screen divas. When you talk about Regina Sikia, that is now presently in the US as a nurse, when you talk about um, people like St. Toby, yes, of blessed memory. Aha, you talk about Liz Benson. These were faces in yesteryears, and Jennifer Eliog was one of them. So, it gladdened my heart today when I was going through the internet. She came to receive a fatherly blessing. She came to bow before the living legend. She came to celebrate the living legend. Come on, this is worthy of emulation. This is one of the best pictures today on the social media space and should get as millions and millions of likes, if possible. Thousands of shares, if possible, telling you that people should be celebrated when they are alive. Not when they are gone. Just like Mike Ejiara that is reaping the fruit of his labor. And I learned that Alex Oti has um, given one of the streets his name. I stand to be corrected, but I saw that, right? But I didn't go into details. Now they are reaping mm -hmm. the dividends. They are reaping their legacy while they are still alive. They have been celebrated. And Papet Edochi, Doctor, the living legend, is one of them. Honestly, you could see her bowing and you could see him, you know, blessing her. This is a fatherly blessing and this is a legendary blessing. And this should be emulated. Of course, that is why when a child washes her hands properly, she dines with the elders with the Nze, with the kings, and her pet is one of them. One thing I love about Dr. Papet Dolce is his command, the confident, the resilient, how he delivers his roles. Of course, there is always you wanting for more, and he keeps you glued to the screen. If you did not see him in Inokonkwo, you are missing a lot. Go and look for it and watch. Guys, let me leave it 